was not abused by the going on in the Electoral Commission. And by dint of the comments by the, by that were made by the court at that time, at least a few people were taken to court, although that, that case is still going on. I think this court, and reading the Supreme, uh, Supreme Court Act, Article, uh, Section 3, together with Article 259 of the Constitution, which talks to how this Constitution should be interpreted, and more particularly when it says, in a manner that promotes, promotes the values, the purposes, and principles of this Constitution and contributes to good governance. So I urge this court with all the humility that uh, although this is a petition basically under Article 140, as defenders and protectors of this Constitution, you, with respect, cannot allow what has happened at IBC to go without some kind of action in the lines that was suggested by my learned senior, Feroz Norji. Impunity must be punished. Impunity must be punished. And impunity and punish breeds arrogance. And arrogance leads to a bitter exercise of power. And without that being done, this commission, which has got the prote protection of the Constitution, without the court making some interventions, it still be a divided co uh, commission with a triumvirate that runs the affairs of a commission that is supposed to protect and defend the sovereignty of the people. And what I'm saying in a nutshell, that this election cannot pass on account of violation of the Constitution, even by the constitutional dictates how this commission should run its affairs if they cannot conduct their affairs in the manner dictated by the Constitution, then how can they preside over an election? And that election have some legit legitimacy to the people of Kenya and, and to the world. Secondly, and this would be my last point, that uh, If you look at Article 138, sub Article 4, and my learned friend Mr. Tienda addressed you on this, that requirement for a successful candidate getting 50% plus one of the votes cast is not a, an idle provision in the Constitution. It requires of the Commission to come with it before your Lordship seriously when there is contestation and put the numbers before you in rebuttal to the case that we have put before you. My Lord friend, Mr. Mahat, who is also my very good friend, in his address, he was not talking about what the law requires or what the Constitution requires. He was saying, this is what we do. This is what the Kimskits do. There was no constitutional or legal foundation that he was resting his arguments. And therefore, yeah, my lady and uh, my ladies and your lordships, I would ask the court to apply 
the provisions of the Constitution to the letter holistically and allow this uh, petition and return this country and, uh, back to the people who are sovereign and let a proper choice be made of the person who is going to lead Kenya in the next five years.